4 titled Porosity and Determination Using the Liquid Saturation Method. Our objective today is to determine the interconnected pore volume, bulk volume, and effective porosity of a pore sample using the liquid satur saturating method. Um, a fluid of known density is introduced into a dry pore sample that is then vacuumed. The difference between the weight of the saturated sample and the dry weight of the sample is the fluid weight that filled the pore space of the core. If the density of the introduced fluid is known, then we can determine the pore volume. The equipment that we're going to use today is a caliper, a balance, um, and a core sample. The other equipment we'll be using today will be a stopwatch, the vacuum pump, and this brine. So first we're going to read and record the temperature in the laboratory. Then we're going to measure all three sides of the core length using these calipers. So just measure sides opposite to each other and record these. And then we're going to make sure that our scale is zeroed out. Open the sliding door and gently place the core sample in there. Wait until the reading it has stabilized and then record it. We're going to put the core in the flask that's marked core sample. And make sure that the lid is all the way down. Make sure that valve one is open. It's open when it's parallel to the lines and make sure that valve two is closed and you close it by turning it clockwise. And then we're gonna go down here and turn on the vacuum pump. The vacuum pressure drain will turn counterclockwise. When the vacuum pressure becomes stable, we're gonna wait for two minutes and record this with our stopwatch. Take it out of here, place it on the paper towel, and gently roll it until all of the liquid is off of the surface. We want to weigh it. First, we're going to zero out our scale, open the sliding door, and place the saturated core sample on the scale. Measure, record that reading, and then measure the difference. 